when a queen is failing or dies or is not able to lay as many eggs anymore, the workers will make the decision that it's time to replace her. They will then raise multiple queens. In every hive, there are these little cups called queen cups, and they will find an egg in the queen cup, and they will feed that larva when it hatches royal jelly, which is what queens eat for their entire lifetime. And that royal jelly will cause the queen development of ovaries and the larger abdomen required for her to get her rear end down inside a cell to lay an egg. So once she's grown to an extent, they will then cap the cell and she will hatch in 16 days. Now they have made multiple queen cells. So what will happen when that queen is ready to hatch? Science has discovered recently that the bees will prevent all the queens from hatching at the same time because if two queens meet they will fight to the death so and the workers know this so they will actually chew the end of the cell but they won't let the queen be released until it's done in a planned timed event so the first queen they will allow to hatch and once she's out, she will begin to pip. And I'm going to make the sound for you. Don't laugh at me. Beep, 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 beep. That's what the pipping sounds like. And it is that loud. You can even hear it when you're outside the hive without even putting your ear on the hive to listen. That sound originally was thought to be a war cry to the other queen saying, come on, I'm ready to fight to the death because I want to be queen. But in 2020 in the UK, they did studies using special equipment that could listen to the vibrations that were being released by the bees. And that's when they learned that the pipping that the queen makes once she's released from her cell is actually to the workers letting them know she's released from her cell and she's ready to go. And that queen will then leave the hive. Many of the bees will swarm out with her and go. Now, when she does the pipping, the unhatched bees that are still in their cells will respond with a quacking sound. It's like, and it sounds like that and again it's that loud and you can hear it outside of the hive and originally it was thought that the quacking was a response to the pipping saying oh yeah you want to be queen i'll fight you but no the quacking is a response to the workers saying, I'm still in the cell. So then the bees, when they don't hear any more pipping, because that first queen has left, they will let the next queen come out. And then she will pip saying, okay, I'm released. I'm good. I'm ready to go. And she will fly out and swarm out with some of the bees as well. And so on. And then when she pips, then they'll be quacking from any other queen that is still in a cell. And then once there's no more pipping, the workers will then let that quacking bee come out of the cell. And she will pip, and if there's no quacking in response, it means that she's the last queen, and she will stay in the hive and become the queen of that hive. The next thing that this virgin queen has to do is go out on multiple mating flights going out to what's called drone congregation areas, which is like the 7-Eleven for male bees to hang out. And she will mate with, she'll go on multiple trips and mate with many male drones to fill up her spermatheca with the genetics of many different males. Then she'll return to the hive and she will not leave the hive again until it's time to swarm out and the whole process repeats itself all over again.